Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm at Colorado Ballet today, and I'm with Tracy, who is an artist with the Colorado Ballet, obviously. <laughs> and we're gonna show you how she prepares her point shoes for the stage and for rehearsal. But what kind of point shoes are you in right now? Um, so I am in block Serenade point shoes, mm -hmm. but they're custom fit for me. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so Serenade's actually not a super common point shoe mm -hmm. for dancers in training. And this is what I realized is that dancers in training and professional dancers, they require very different things because yep. you guys like different things. Yes. So what, what did you grow up dancing in? Um, so I started out in Freed's. You started out in Freed's? I did, yeah. They made us wear Freed at school, so. Did you go to SAB? Um, I went to the Royal Ballet School. Oh, well, yeah. then obviously, yeah. <laughs> so um, I started out in Freed's and then I switched to Bob Martin. I danced in Spain for a little bit. Ooh, yeah, and that's Bach cool. were um, the easiest shoe to, to get in over there, so I ended up switching by convenience and then fell in love with them. Yeah, so, so Serenade Point Shoes are, it, it's generally a little bit more square, and then the vamp, this part is kind of long. Yeah. So it's, it's longer here, it's more square, it has a wider platform, and it's a harder shoe, except, ooh, that feels soft back there. Is that one of your customs? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Serenades are, are meant for like pretty strong feet, uh, longer toes, square toes. Um, so it's a little bit difficult for dancers in training to kind of get over these. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, the block and everything feels really hard, but the back quarter part yeah. seems very soft. Yeah. So tell us what you do for um, the customs. So um, the way they used to come before that this was actually really hard all right. the way up to the end. That's um, how normal so, it is. Yeah. yeah. So I would typically I would go in, take this out, end up three quarter the back out and then take that section out. Mm -hmm. um, and I would do it to just sit right under my heel yes. so that when I was on, it really supported me. I right. found that if I didn't do that, my foot ended up coming out of the shoe. So I they see. weren't actually supporting me I see. Um, the way I needed them to. So your foot was bending, but the shoe wasn't? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I ended up cutting them so that they really molded to fit my arch, mm -hmm. which allowed me to actually have support once I was on. I wasn't yeah. falling out of the shoe. Um, so with my customs, that's one of the things I had done. They measure. I went to the New York block store and they measured exactly where I needed to have it cut down. So that now comes pre-cut, which is nice. Nice. So you don't have to do it. Exactly. Um, I added the elastic drawstring, mm -hmm. which I like. A little bit better yeah so there's a lot of point shoes that have cotton drawstring and it doesn't pull as nicely mm -hmm. so you can always switch out to an elastic drawstring if you wear a point shoe that has cotton drawstring because it's just a nicer pull yeah. and it's like stretchier and it feels more comfortable um, but you can actually I can feel exactly where they cut it mm -hmm. does this ever bother you no and what I actually end up doing and I brought this to show you mm -hmm. um, I will normally Pick, tear this out, mm -hmm. the one that comes in it, because I find that sometimes it rolls up yes. under, and I get like cramps because it gets stuck in my arch. Yes. So I always have um, a roll of moleskin, uh -huh. and I pre-cut to fit me, and I actually um, stick it in the shoe and make sure that it goes all the way up to the end so that it doesn't end up rolling under when I'm dancing. Yes, and you have, um, I can tell just by looking at you, you have pretty sensitive skin, right? Yeah. Yeah, so there are certain dancers or certain people, human beings in general, if you have sensitive skin, little things like that really bother you, like the sock liner rolling up, or if there's like a little uh, uh, something that's sticking out of your point shoes. So this is actually a really good tip. Yeah. So if you put the moleskin all the way up to your heel, then it's like a nice smooth line, mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about it. Obviously, you're not like sitting on your heel even when you're standing on flat if right. you're a ballerina, yeah. but that's a great tip yeah. if you and have sensitive skin. It's super helpful too, like, especially if you're on stage, but even in class, if you find that this rolls up under in the middle of a combination, you don't oh, yeah. want to have to stop to fix your shoe. Exactly. So this really helps with that. Yes, it's like, it feels like your sock is like rolling down, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like your shoes. So yeah, that's that's really cool. Okay, so let's let's take a look at that. So the custom, the, is that the only custom that you have? Um, I also got them cut down just a little bit because I found that the original um, Serenade were a little bit high. Mm -hmm. um, so I got them trimmed just a little here so I could 
show off more of my foot. Yes. Um, and then this, actually, where the drawstring, the casing for the drawstring, um, is a different material than what comes on the normal serenade. I see. So it has a little bit of elasticity to yes. it. Yes. Elastic drawstring, and then three quarter. So it's really soft here. I can bend it really easily, and then cut down a little bit lower on the sides. Yeah. Do you cut down the back as well, or just no, the side? No, just the sides. Okay. So this is a very, a very popular custom with a lot of dancers. Is they cut down the sides because you want to show off your foot mm -hmm. more than you should want to show off the shoe itself. Yeah. So once you get this, mm -hmm. uh, what do you do to prepare? Um, so once I get this, the first thing I do is I will darn them. Mm -hmm. And I actually use um, wool as opposed to uh, darning, thread. darning thread because mm -hmm. I find that it takes a lot less time to do one or two rounds of wool than multiple rounds of the darning thread. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'll darn around the edges yeah and just once um twice twice this is twice i do one like loose and then i fill in the gaps one more time perfect um yeah and then i kind of cater especially on my right foot for me um, i have a slight bunion mm -hmm. so the tendency once the shoe starts getting soft is that i'll roll in mm -hmm. so i tend to cater when i darn the right shoe i'll tend to come up a little bit higher there oh. so that i can kind of preempt that and it also allows the shoe to last a little bit longer yes so I'm not breaking it in that way that makes um, sense and then the great thing is too I if it starts getting soft I'll just do a couple of stitches right on that part and it gets me another few um, wears out of it everyone has uneven feet right like nobody has like perfectly even feet so if you have an issue with rolling in in one foot or if one's more flexible you can always customize mm -hmm. that with darning or jet glue yeah. or whatever it is like you can add a little bit more and you can customize customize it so it's like perfectly even. I actually circle my ribbon yes. and I use elastic ribbon uh -huh. um, and I can put them on and show you yes. why that's really helpful. So a lot of people have been asking us as well like how they sew on the, the loop instead of the um, instead of just the one in one. Mm -hmm. um, obviously this only works with stretchy ribbon. Yes. Because it goes around your ankle. If you have the regular ribbon that doesn't stretch this probably would not work for you. Yeah. It helps but two things. One, the little um, bow won't come out on stage so you yes. don't have to spend time sewing it in. The other thing that's really helpful too is if you're doing a ballet with quick changes, yes. um, it's really easy to just sort of slide them on and that's it's true. really quick to do them up. Too. Yeah, so that's um, true. Could you put your point shoes on yeah, for me? Yeah, of course. That would be awesome. So you see how she put on her point shoes super quick. She doesn't need to tie them or anything. It's just loop it around. So you, you loop it twice? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then if you're going on stage, I just make sure that this is flush. And I normally put like a little bit of water to soften up the vamp so that the first few um, exercises I'm doing, it can really mold to where I want it and mm -hmm. it's not as uncomfortable as when it's really hard and Yeah. Raining. How long do these last you? Um, well, I normally have like two or three pairs going at the same time mm -hmm. that I rotate, especially yes. during longer rehearsal days. For sure. Um, but honestly, they can last up to two weeks. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty hard shoes, so that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But um, rotating is also a really good tip. Yeah. Because if you if you have rehearsal all day or if you're dancing all day, your shoes are sweating. Right. And your feet are like just getting wet inside the point shoes. And point shoes actually take like 36 hours to dry. Depending on where you are in the country, if you're in Florida or somewhere really humid, your point shoes like never dry. literally <laughs> never dry. It's just wet all the time. But if you can let your point shoes rest and dry out, it actually lasts you a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So rotating is a really good tip yeah. if you guys want to make your point shoes last a little, a little bit longer. Can I see them on you? Can you see yeah. them? From oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. yeah, so this is breaking pretty high. I, I love that because um, a lot of point shoes, they will break too low. Yeah. But if you have that custom or if you three quarter your shanks, then it's, you know, it'll break higher. So it's yeah. nice and beautiful. It's gorgeous on you. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you so much for yeah, sharing of course. your point shoe hacks with us. And if you guys have any questions, leave it on the comments and we'll see you in Missouri. <laughs>